Hello there, it's Ip. How's it going, Cinderinos? It's uh, me, the Piro from Team Fortress 2. I thought it would be fun, because it's been about a year or two since I've done a Piro video. I thought it'd be fun to go around in a pod and burn some people for fun. Hooray! Hello there, welcome back. So, it's been like a year or two since I last made a video with Piro. So I thought it'd be fun, especially now with Piro in his current state, to, um, you know, talk about it a little bit in a proper situation. And by the way, those of you using Itrim's View Model Mod and encountering this bug, just disable View Models, it's no issue. Like, you, the, the main reason you'd have View Models on on Pyro anyway is to look at the power jack so you can time your melee swings, but really it's not that big of a deal. So I'd recommend just disabling your View Models and then no issues will be had. But yeah, Pyro in his current state is not terrific. I've had a few comments. Most people seem to agree that it's broken, and it is. <laughs> But uh, some people seem to disagree, you know, they're saying, oh, Pyro in close range should be able to melt absolutely everything. Which seems, you know, it's a close range class. Previously, he'd lose to just two scouts meat shotting him over like eight seconds. He was not very good. In his current state, uh, there, there are so many videos showing how broken he is. A lot of them by Jedi Flamaster. Master. If you just Google, like, uh, what, Jungle Inferno update Pyro bugs, you'll see so many. One of them seems to be that. Perhaps by design, but flame damage is done over time rather than by uh, subsequent aiming. So previously with the flamethrower, you had to aim, I think it's like 13 particles a second or something like that. You had to hit with each of them to do a full burst of damage, okay? So one particle would do, I don't know, like four damage, five damage, whatever it is, I don't know the numbers. And you had to hit with all of them and that's how it worked. Like if you aimed all of your shots, you'd do more damage. If you aimed half your shots, you'd do half damage. Left Pyro being kind of hard to use, because you had to learn how to track, especially with the particles not matching the models. That is something they definitely fixed, for the most part. There are still some issues, but for the most part they did fix- Oh my dudes. That would have been so good. For, for the most part, uh, the, the particles do fix. If I find on my computer if Pyro's stare at the floor, it makes the flamethrower invisible, for some reason. But, other than that, yeah, in the view models it does seem to be fine. The downside is, uh, you don't have to hit with all of your particles anymore in a second. That was a really bad idea on my end, I'm sorry. I, I'm not used to playing like this. <laughs> I'm like, I have played a lot of Pyro. It's my, definitely my second most played class. Back before I used to remove, uh, I think every year I used to reset my stats. Pyro was definitely like over 500 hours. So I think I might even have a similar number of hours on Pyro as I do to Spy, if not like a little bit less. But yeah, it's a very broken right now. Let me try and show off. The back burner is banned in UGC. You might say, hey, Wollen, what's what's wrong with the back burner? Why is it banned? And those of you that do know will be like, oh god, yeah, he's gonna talk about it. Yeah. The back burner right now, if I look at him and then turn slightly in the other direction, it'll think that I'm behind him, and he'll take back burner crits even if he's in front of me. Uh, I might be able to pop in a quick little clip from my stream the other day, where I dropped down into spawn and there was a demo man there, and I melt I, I gave him back burner crits despite the fact I was nowhere near him. Oh there, there's a spy over there. Don't need to track him if I just just do that. One thing that does still counter pyros, by the way, which I'm being a little wary of, is obviously Sniper. That's never been fixed. Sniper will always probably be a big counter to pyro, especially now that the Danger Shield now works as a little mini charge and targe, you could say. A lot of people popping Uber there. Yeah, and also Ubers, obviously, but if you walk backwards, you'll win the duel even though you're dead. So yeah, it's... <laughs> pyro in this current state basically just devolves into how fast can you left-click and how long are you able to hit people with your flames? So like, all I've been doing this game, I'm not even running the shotgun, I'm using the dual disc that um, you get from Yu-Gi-Oh! here to like, charge at people and and did it did it did it did it duel and all that, yeah. But um, anyway, you don't need the shotgun anymore. Like, the shotgun's cool, mid-range, but why need mid-range when I can just spin around in circles and kill people? That guy died from random backburner crits, apparently. Just, yeah. Heavy is also still an issue, unless you have full health. If, if you're full health, there is nothing wrong with the heavy. You could just run up into his face and maul him. Boy in blue down here. Little, little trick stat. I really like the back burner. Like, even now it's a little broken. And by little broken, I mean horrifically broken. The heavy came back for us. Okay. I always really like the idea that there was a inverted commas skill based. I, know I say inverted commas skill based. You do just have to be behind them and you get crits. But it's a little bit better than the stock where there's not really much variance in where you click. I did like that you can kinda stare stab people with the back burner. I say kinda. Like if this demo man was in the other team and I just did that, it'd be crits. I always thought that was kind of cool. It really fit my playstyle of running at people angrily. 
Which is a lie, by the way. My playstyle isn't. My playstyle is shooting people with a shotgun. And they got rid of that. There's no point in learning to use the shotgun anymore. Oh god, yeah, mini sentries exist. Yeah, I forgot about mini sentries. So yeah, like... <laughs> Pyro's not completely broken in the update. In like six, you, have, you aren't starting to see full-time pyros and sixes. If that happens, you'll know it's really broken. But thank God, pyro's mobility wasn't that buffed. Like the jetpack is a fun little side grade, but by no means is it like game-breaking for pyro. That like kind of two seconds delay after putting it back stops it from being like you know the rocket launcher that it might want to be. But it does let you, if you remember how to use it. Get into little places like this. This is one. This is awesome. This is something I've always wanted to be able to do, is have a fucking jetpack on pirate. But yeah, the old strat of having to like aim with the shotgun and the degreaser and all of that is completely dead. All the best pyros in prem for the most part now literally just WM1 people and get like super high DPM for basically no reason. And I want to show off on that heavy. We have a vaccinated man. I don't know if he's going to follow us, but if he chooses to, we can probably maul. No, is he not going to chase us? You're not gonna- you're not gonna follow the pyro? You don't wanna maul the entire team? You're just sitting back, building Vaccinator. Okay, well... Well, I have to find an alternate method. If I can get a small buff, that would be good. I know the Vaccinator buff's slower, but... Let's just go through map room. I don't think he wants to chase us today. That's alright. That man's shooting people with a signpost, so that's not terrific, but yeah. If we can find a way to get nearish their team and not die to, like, a mini sentry... Let's use, like, the high five taunt and have a little look. Players haven't loaded in. Terrific. Spy, do you wanna go and distract that heavy off to your right? You have to make these noises if you're playing Pyro, by the way. Yeah, still one mini sentry dealing issues with us. It's, if I can get into that mini, it'll be great. But yeah, until we have like a soldier go up there where I get a small buff from this medic, we're not really going to do anything. But yeah, but it, you literally do, do just hold down left click. It's uh, the DPS it does is a single particle can do 120 damage because one particle can hit the same player multiple times. Whereas before, I don't think he could. I think before you hit with one particle and then it basically disappeared for as far as it was concerned, damage-wise. But yeah, I'm gonna try and show- it oh, never mind, I died to a random crit. I was gonna say I'm gonna show it off on this medic by just shaking my screen around, but it's not gonna work if I instantly die to a melee. This is so much fun, by the way. Like, this this is probably like the best- this and the banana are the best things they've ever made into TF2. A fucking- I don't know what it is, just the movement in TF2 is so fun. And now Pyro has a, his own little rocket jumper. It's so cool. And for some reason, it also reduces all fall damage, like, permanently. Goodbye, Spy. And I don't know why. I guess it was just to stop you from going really high into the sky and crushing your own feet, but... Who needs to do that when you can trickstab drop a medic as Pyro? That's alright. And there's an NG over there. We're just gonna run at him angrily. Instantly melted. That's just too much damage. Oh god, we died to Polsha Scholster CS money. Look at this pyro. Apparently I'm getting an achievement, or he's getting an achievement, or something, but this like gibbous pyro just held down his left click outside the spawn and just trashed everyone. I don't know if he actually is a gibbous pyro. He's a pyro wearing the gibbous though, so I'd like to assume he is. But look, if we can get back into the front here. This spy's going on a bit of a ramp. Oh, spy, trickstab me. I wanted him to jump backwards off the cliff and get me, but maybe not. Instead, I'm just going to do this and hope I catch him on fire, because it will probably work. Or do that. Yeah, you'll see a lot of pyros doing that. My sense is a bit low for it. But the best way to play seems to just be to shake your screen around madly. Because what matters most in this life is not actually hitting each particle. It's if you hit one particle. It counts as hitting the entire stream. So if I just run at this ubered heavy... There's, like, no consequences for me. Plus, I've got a fucking jetpack, so I don't know. I will let you complete that. Good work. Oh, we made a friend! He did the little nod as well. <laughs> Good man. But yeah. Um, you used to have to aim with each of the particles in the stream to do full damage. Now all you have to do is give all of your viewers a hernia. You killed the spy. Don't worry. They did fix Afterburn, which was a terrific thing. But that doesn't matter when I can just do this and kill all spies. Spy and Highlander, by the way, including, like, you know, the Dead Ringer changes and the Ambi changes, you instantly die, if basically, if a pyro sees you and he's any good. Because most of them do still run the shotgun, so the whole spicicle giving you resistance doesn't help. Excuse me? You're not meant to be- Oh, wait, no, he's using the KGB. Sorry, I thought he was using the, um, the glitch that they patched last year where the stake would give you mini crits with, um with the minigun, which obviously shouldn't happen. Go on, shoot one- that's not a rocket. I, I'm not used to the fact that the, um, the bloody loose cannon 
thing does like nothing when you reflect it. I'm, stu I'm too used to demos not using that. Don't trick stab me. I've got the ability to do this. Oh, there's another spy. I didn't even see him and he got caught on fire. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm using the bloody back burner. I was like, why can't I not air blast? Hello. Oh, he did it. He was doing the. Re we were both trying to do a reflect jump. There's just too much going on over there. That's alright. We're gonna go get health. Oh, hugs. That's convenient. I'm sorry I killed you earlier. We're gonna get health. We're gonna escape from our medic. So he doesn't die in these pits of flames. And then we're gonna trick stab this pyro. Yeah! You see that epic trick stab? Never mind, he shot a wall and instantly killed us. But look, it's not hard. It's like. <laughs> Pyro, to, to aim with all of your flames, you genuinely did have to have pretty good tracking. And if you were able to, like, track perfectly with the degreaser, admittedly, the damage wasn't that great. I do think the damage needs to be buffed, but what it's done now is, if you so much as sniff in the direction of someone, they're melted. As long as you're holding down your left leg. If there's a scout jumping over your head in all these angles, I heard a decloak. You only have to touch him once and hold down your left click and he'll be melted. You don't, you don't have to aim at the scout. Go away. That's what we say. Also, good old strat. I highly recommend doing this at all times. If you see, like, a heavy shooting his minigun and you need to escape out of her, jump. Jump and, like, crouch and surf off of the minigun bullets. Also, there's a spy up there somewhere. Look, I'm going to get trick-stabbed by him if I'm not careful. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just one-tap him. That's fine. That's our friendly huntsman arrow. Sniper. Hello. He knew we were going to come through here. Maybe he's fighting this other Legend of Zelda character. Are we going to... Is there a sentry around the corner? Doesn't matter. We're gonna kill all of these pipe snipers by like wiggling our screen around a bunch. Ah! These are the noises you must make. Where's another boy? Look, there's a boy in blue down here. He's attacking our boy in red. Ah! Come back here. I need to yell some more. This is how you make friends on YouTube. You ever watched a YouTube channel? It's always about the yelling. Come back here. Don't escape. The man just got. Absolutely destroyed. I think I understabbed that medic. Oh, wait. Let's play some Team Fortress 2, everyone. I love this game. There's a single teleporter. Let's play the game. How many frags can we get until they push an Uber Heavy through? The answer is the teleporter's facing the other way. Yeah, let's just do this for the whole game. Look at how fast it kills people coming off of the teleporter. You know the you know the spy's knife? You know the knife. Just um yeah. I actually don't have a kill streak back burner apparently. Someone's gonna come up here eventually and try and chase us, but maybe not for a little while. We'll be able to hear the decloak anyway, but yeah, look. We've also got a full ammo pack here to protect us. They're probably gonna like not take the teleporter, come up with a heavy medic and try and backstab us, but Don't date don't don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, he's gonna be our like CCTV camera. They're gonna attack him first. Wait. Do you Go away. I have the begone thought button. You cannot best me. Look, a heavy weapons guy. Never mind, he sapped the teleporter, you mean boy. I don't know how many kills I just got there, by the way, but it was quite a lot. Oh, there's a spy with the spicicle, the thing that counters pyros. Do not fret. I have a left click. I will never let go of this left click. Thanks, medic. Do you see me letting go of my left click? Okay, I let go of it for a second there to air blast, but... That wasn't entirely necessary. Hello. Never mind. I was about to die, but then maybe not. Oh god, a spy with his gun. I sure hope he doesn't kill me with his gun. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, some people in chat are not happy. The, the class right now does basically devolve into how unhappy can you make an entire server with one weapon? And the answer always is very unhappy. But to be honest, it's not really a fault of the back burner. We haven't been abusing the glitch with it too much. A, because I'm bad with it. B, we haven't really had an opportunity to... Let me up. Okay, I guess I misread that, but that's alright. Medic, you have one of those arrows. Don't chase me up here. I want to try and acquiesce an arrow. No, wait, 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 wait. Now's the time. Maybe. Yep, now's the time. Get like a little. There's a guy with a. Actually, the, the, the Dragon's Fury does kill you pretty fast as a backburner pyro. Remember that it does. It's, you know, it's the design of the weapon, but. I know you reflected it. You can reflect the Dragon's Fury. If you see a Dragon's Fury pyro, reflect the Christ out of him. You'll get so confused, but look. Look at that. 87 very deserved points on defense as Backburner Pyro. And 5 <laughs> Yeah. You see, like, I feel like if I'd been doing this with, like, the Degrees of Shotgun, they wouldn't have been nearly as annoyed, because I'd have been, like, aiming a shotgun, and they'd be like, oh, man, you know, it's pretty annoying, but, you know, as long as you had to aim, 
I really did just hold down my left click and kill like 8,000 people and get 10,000 damage. Yeah, these are, these are stats that you want to be seeing. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching today. It's been an interesting video. Don't often play other classes on videos, but I'm going to be trying to do it a little bit more now that we've got a larger audience. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see something in the future. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.